Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the New Jersey Association of College and Mission Counseling's Performing and Visual Arts Virtual College Fair. I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. A few housekeeping items before we get started. There is a Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen, which you can use to type in questions to our presenters at any time. If you do have a question for a specific college, please mention the college within your question. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is also just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions as well. And this presentation is also being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. I'd like to now turn it over to our presenters. Our first college of today is New York Institute of Technology. Perfect, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. My name is Harsh Mehta. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions at New York Tech. So we're just right across the river, if you're going to take a bridge over or right underneath the tunnel, depending on how you're coming on campus. So we have two campuses. We have one that's right in Midtown Manhattan, New York City, as well as one that's on our Long Island campus, which is in a Westbury. Both of our campus are different and dynamic, but we consider ourselves one cohesive family. Our New York City campus is super busy right across the street is Central Park. Right next to us is Lincoln Center. Our Long Island campus sits on 150 acre campus and all of our buildings are separate. So it depends on how you like to have your college experience. And I'll go more along about our campuses more later on. So this is just our fun fact sheet. We're number one school for most diverse student body in the United States. We also are a super small research institution school as well as a polytech school. So a lot of our courses and classes that we have at NYT are hands-on experiences, career-driven school. So you'll see like our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. Our student body is roughly around 4,000 students, including both campuses. And regarding that, we also have housing available on both campuses, but it's up to your discretion if you wanna stay on campus or not. So what it looks like at New York Tech, right? What I say about definitely about New York Tech is that sometimes our names throws us off. So we have six different schools and nine different programs. So we go everything from College of Arts and Sciences, business, medicine, everything. So we have everything underneath the sun, but just to go particularly for this event, we are a school that has architect and design. So we are, we have accreditation body for our school of architecture. We offer two different types of architect programs at the school, as well as we are one of the only schools that has your inter interior design, as well as additional scholarships based on that major in specific. So these are some fun facts that I have on the screen. Our B Arch program is a five-year program, which lets you sit for licensure to become an architect in all 49 states besides California. Then we have the traditional BSAT architect program, which is a four-year program. And then our interior design program is a four-year. This year we've added an extra year to it. So if you wanted to do an interior design with an MBA concentration, you could do so. Just the only difference between these programs is that the only program that does require a portfolio submission is our architect program, which is for the B Arch in particular. Moving forward, another cool thing about New York Tech is that we also have digital arts and graphic design. Something I love to throw on the screen is speaking about design. So Pixar and DreamWorks are originally out of NYIT. So we are a strong foundation for that piece, as well as um, we have a lot of our students that get to do internships with the school, get to go to Florida, they come to us, we do a lot of webinars with them, especially in the remote world that we are in currently, we have the opportunity for them to be more remote and accessible. Both of those majors do require a portfolio submission. Of course, it varies based on what you like. So if you're looking to become a gamer or do web design, I definitely would recommend the digital arts piece. But let's say if you're not sure, you could definitely choose either or major. We do have academic advising that's specifically done by our department and they will navigate you and guide you on what major you should look into. Just something that we definitely like to throw out is that throughout these majors, both for architecture as well as for our digital arts and graphic design, there is a year where you will be interning with, um, you'll be work interning with a partnership with us. So you definitely have that hands-on experience. You get build that resume as well as get to build your connections. So that is something that we definitely include. We have listed some of our career options on the screen as well. I know a lot of our students love going down to Florida. So we do definitely like to give every student an opportunity to do that. That's one of our popular internship options that we get. So I definitely would say something that you definitely wanna get your hands dirty on and get that experience. So alongside that, we definitely tell you guys to add minors, right? Minors is a good way to create some fun to your curriculum as well as you don't be, wanna add more experience to your resume and building that career hands-on experience. 
So unfortunately at New York Tech, we don't allow students to double major because of the coursework and the course curriculum that we have. We could definitely add a minor or two depending on what you like. So a lot of our, a lot of our most common minor that students like to get into is in the science field because sometimes graphic design, digital arts helps in science, especially with architecture as well when we're working with the hospital systems and stuff like that. Some of our students like to do uh, one of our popular majors which is wine, beer, and spirit tasting, which is gives you an idea of the hospitality part. We are in hospitality school. And if you see my virtual background, it's one of our hospitality venues that we have on campus. And that was definitely built by our students in the interior design and graphic design program. So what does that look like at the school and especially for you, right? So we definitely want to build that relationship and want to have fun. So we have 60 plus organization and clubs on campus and that goes across the board for both of our campuses. So we have Greek life fraternities, sororities, we have co-ed fraternities, we have something from esports all the way to culture club. So there's always something out for students. I definitely say get involved and get, get that experience going for you. And most importantly, one of my favorite slides, when we talked about scholarships before, since we are a private school, we offer merit-based scholarships that's strictly based off of your GPA. We do use some SATs, but we are test optional this year, and we will say test optional for next year as well. We go from merit-based scholarships from $18,000 up to $30,000 a year, and that stays with you all throughout your undergrad. Our tuition currently is roughly around $38,000, and that will stay, we're going to freeze it until 2022. So those are definitely some things you wanna look out to. Our merit-based scholarships are automatic, so you don't need to apply for it from the beginning. It's automatically done. When you hear from us, it's your admissions letter, your merit-based scholarship's also there for you. And of course, if you have more questions and you'd like to talk to us in admissions, one-on-one, -on -one, we have one-on-one -on -one Zoom appointments. You could call us, you could text us, we're available all the time, as well as our financial aid information is there. I'm gonna be hanging around in the chat box. I'm gonna put in my email and my phone, and my phone number, as well as our pamphlet for you undergrad students. Thank you so much. Up next, we have Wagner College. Hi, so my name is Skylin. I am one of the admissions counselors at Wagner College and I read applications from Northern New Jersey. Um, so just tell you a little bit about Wagner. So this is our main hall. You might actually recognize it from the movie School of Rock. It is the opening scene. It is also home of our main stage theater, um, some classrooms and also um, some of our offices as well. And these are just some of our students hanging on the oval, which is a fun test that happens all throughout the year, sometimes even in the snow like we have right now. So just a little bit about Wagner. So we are one of five boroughs in New York City about 105 acre campus, 1800 undergraduate students, 375 graduate students. So we are a very small school. That is for some students, not for others. I totally understand if you want a bigger school experience, but we are very intimate and close. You will know everybody on campus. We have students from 45 states and 29 countries. We are not a backpack school. We will meet students from all over and you will be able to meet students um, from all across the country and from different countries. So you really get the full college experience even at a small school. So like I said, we're not a backpack school. So we have 82% of our students do live on campus, a little different now, but normally that is what is going on. We have our student to faculty ratio is about 14 to one. So again, small, small classes size is about 19 to 22 students. Um, largest classes are going to be in nursing and PA, but normally most of our classes are 19 to 22 students. We have 40 plus majors and minors. Most popular would be biological science, business, psychology. Our most competitive is theater performance and physician assistant. A little about theater performance. We were rated by the Princeton Review as a number three theater school in the country. It is an audition process. We also do offer theater studies and design tech management. In design tech management, there is an interview process as well. Um, we hold about six theater shows, theater performances a year, different shows um, that happen for a couple of weeks throughout the semesters. And we also have a, do have a smaller stage near our football field actually um, for students to put on their own production. So it is not by the theater performance department. It is just students wanna direct and um, put on their own shows, which gives the students a great opportunity to just be creative. So a little bit about Wagner, so we are, like I said, one of five boroughs and we are a 40 minute 
ferry, a 40 minute ride to New York City. So it's 10 minutes from campus and then the 20 minute ferry ride into downtown Manhattan. So this is really great for students who want to just hang out in the city or if they want to get an internship or go to shows. Um, all of our students completed internship by the time they graduate or something similar depending on their major. So for a lot of our students, they may, you know, have a theater performance as their final project. Um, for nursing students, they're doing clinicals, PAs, they're doing clinicals. But a lot of our students, even if you are not required to do a typical internship, a lot of our students still do that. So you see some students have volunteered or interned at Radio City Music Hall, the Roundabout Theater Company. Um, even Walt Disney Company, students have done that during the summer or even during breaks. Um, I know some of our students even participated in a short um, theater performance. So definitely things are always happening and we do have a career counselor on campus at all times um, to help you with your resumes and to help you find job placements once you do graduate and to help you find internships. So you're never alone in that. We also ha have an academic advisor to help you choose obviously your classes and everybody will have their own um, depending on their major. So these are just some of the admissions deadlines and requirements. I think it's obviously important to discuss this. So because theater performance, physician assistant, and DPM are direct entry programs, we try to have those decisions out early just so there could be time to interview. So December 1st will be the time to um, apply for that. February 15th is our priority or regular decision. So we are still accepting applications now if you are not interested in one of those. Um, I do like to mention, even if you have not applied for theater performance, you can still apply for theater studies and you can still perform in theater performances. The same goes for DTM. So even if you are not a typical DTM major or in the program, you still can help with design tech management. Um, you can still perform in theater shows. We've had athletes, we've had nursing students, psychology students, it doesn't really matter. We want you to get involved if you do. Um, our average GPA is about a 3.5 or an 89%. We are a test optional school, except for physician assistant program. So if you do submit your SAT, I put the averages here. So about a 26 um, ACT or 1200, I understand that right now is very difficult for students to take the SAT. So we understand that. And we are always test optional. This is not our first year, thankfully. Um, and we will continue that moving forward. Um, interviews, auditions are required, like I said, for PA, DTM, and theater performance. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you are applying, you will be asked to do that. And I just want to end with this. Um, we post a lot on our Instagram. We posted this year, we're doing some raffles this year, just trying to get students involved. Also, we um, give out fee waiver codes. You could also DM us at any time of the day and we'll be happy to answer for you. Um, we're always here to help if you um, are not getting the answer you need fast enough for you, please just DM us. We're also offering virtual tours right now because we do, we are located in New York and we are not allowed to have visitors on campus, but we are doing virtual tours with our students. They will be giving them online. And we also are starting our virtual live tours starting soon so that you are, have the opportunity to meet students and also walk around campus. So please, if you have any questions, ask me and thank you so much. Thank you very much for that presentation. Just a reminder to our participants, if you have questions about anything you're seeing today or any questions for our colleges, please be sure to put that in the Q&A and we can answer that for you. Up next, we have Wesleyan University. All righty. Hi everyone. Um, so my name is Ashley Laurie. I'm a senior assistant dean of admissions at Wesleyan. And just to give you an introduction this evening, so and I should probably magnify this. I'm so sorry. So uh, we are a liberal arts and sciences university. Uh, we are located in Middletown, Connecticut. Um, and as the name suggests, it's exactly that Middletown. So it's midway between the state capital of Hartford, about 20 minutes north, 30 minutes south is New Haven, the home of Yale University. Two hours in each direction, Boston and New York. York City. So one of the things you'll hear our students say time and time again is that they really appreciate Middletown as a college town because it kind of feels like the best of both worlds. You have this quaint New England college town on one hand, but also easy accessibility to major world-class cities. 
Um, so we have about 3000 undergraduate students and about something that really makes us unique as a liberal arts institution is that we actually also have graduate students. There are about 250, so 3,250, you could kind of tell right off the bat where the bulk of our focus is. We are primarily an undergraduate institution, um, but of course we also derive a number of advantages by having graduate students with us. Um, of our many graduate offerings, it's primarily in psychology and the natural sciences but we also have a program in ethnomusicology. Um, and we are pretty small as you're probably deducing from the numbers. So on average it's about eight students to a faculty member um, and about 400 plus teacher scholars. So one of the biggest things that draws students to us is our open curriculum. And of course, that could look different from place to place. In the case of Wesleyan, there are only two things you have to do to graduate. One, you have to select at least one major. And secondly, you have to complete at least 32 course credits. So that's it. There are no other requirements. You don't have any core distributionals. You don't have a physical education requirement. You don't have to take the first year seminar if you don't wish. You do not have very unusual for a liberal arts institution you do not have to fulfill a foreign language requirement. So just select at least one major, complete at least 32 course credits and every other class that you'll take as a part of the open curriculum, it's because that you're interested in it and you say to your advisor, I want to take this. And so you kind of get to really shop around for classes across our three main academic divisions, the natural sciences and math, um, the social sciences and the fine arts and humanities. So a huge part, a huge hallmark of the Wesleyan model is that interdisciplinary learning model. About 40% of our students do double major. You have the option to triple major. You can major and a minor, whatever combination you wanna go with. And sometimes our students pull together seemingly similar ones, like let's say um, theater and film, for example. Um, but they also may pull together really unique ones that you don't really think of as going together. So Russian studies and dance, for example. So you kind of really have that opportunity opportunity um, with an academic and intellectual breadth. Um, we obviously, again, have a number of different options, almost 50 different fields. I'll encourage you to check out our list of our majors on our website. But for the specific team of tonight's um, um, presentation, I'm really looking specifically at the PVA disciplines. And so art history, studio, dance, film studies, music, theater, we do have a certificate program in writing also. Um, I will say in terms of film, we do have one of the top 10 film programs in the country for theater it is no accident and i will be remiss in my duties if i didn't mention our most popular alum at least once uh, lynn manuel miranda class of 2002 co-creator of broadway's hamilton musical and so really he got started with that he wrote in the heights while at wesleyan so very much having an artsy vibe as much as a science vibe and i'll encourage you to check out our center for the arts and the wesleyan film series later on to get more of a sense of um, the arts at west um, we do have a vibrant student culture life, so about 250 clubs and organizations, so everything from, you know, dance and performance. Uh, my personal favorite, because it's quirky and unique, is Prometheus, the fire spinning club. We have affinity and identity groups, um, and we do participate in Division Three athletics. We are a part of the New England uh, um, NESCAC conference, so really having that vibrant um, student life. Uh, in terms of residential living, so we are a residential community. Um, all of our students students do live on campus for all four years and you are guaranteed housing for all four years. Uh, it is a progressive independent, mo independent model. So you start off broad based in the dorms, you have a, a roommate. And as you increase in standing second year, third year, your senior year, you have more expansive options. The apartments, the wooden framed houses, we have some themed houses where you and a select bunch of mates can choose to live in that house as an upper class student. Um, and the theme for that year is whatever you choose to be. So it can be a film house theme or a theater theme or um, we have a, mu a movement house specifically for students who are interested in dance. So definitely a very residential community. And again, speaking to that, um, the advantages of a small you know, environment is that strong sense of community that is fostered both inside and outside of the classroom. 
social impact. So I will say that social justice is a huge part of the Wesleyan um, community. Your students are very, very vocal, whether it's in racial justice, environmental justice, um, uh, everything that you can think of in modern terms, food justice and you know dealing with housing insecurity. So really engaging middle tongue, um, internships, fellowships across the United States, abroad during the summer breaks. So definitely a place where social impact is at the forefront of what we're doing. Again, Broadway, it's not accidental that diversity is one of the hallmarks that really characterizes Hamilton. And Lin-Manuel Miranda kind of got a lot of that thinking, not only from growing up in New York City, but also very much by reason of his, um, his experience at a place like Wesleyan, a diverse place like Wesleyan. Um, you can see here typically where um, the sorts of industries that our students tend to go into, leisure, arts and entertainment, very much at the top. Um, and we have a host of alums going into varying fields in terms of creativity, co-creator of um, How I Met Your Mother, um, D.B. Weiss, co-creator of Game of Thrones. So definitely having an opportunity. Um, I think the COO of Netflix, a Wesleyan graduate. So definitely a place where you can own those skills. Um, for technicalities, for application details, Common Application Coalition Questbridge, those are the ones we accept. And you can see the, the application rungs and deadlines here. Um, I will say we are test optional. We have been since 2014. So that is not something that's going to go away once the pandemic is over. It's here to stay. Um, and we do meet 100% of demonstrated need for all of our admitted students, regardless of, of citizenship. Um, we, I'll encourage you to check out bebrave.wesleyan.edu. And I'll be sure to add my information in the chat section for you to reach out if you have any further questions. Thanks, everybody. Sorry about that. Our final college of the evening is Muhlenberg College. Good evening, everyone. It is great to be with you all today. I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy during this really, really uh, interesting time, but happy to share um, some information about the fine performing arts at Muhlenberg College. Um, just some quick facts here. Um, Muhlenberg is located in Allentown, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour north of Philadelphia and two hours west of New York City. We're a small liberal arts college. We have about uh, 2,000 students or so. The average class size is 19 and the student professor ratio is uh, 10 to 1. But I know you all are here to get some information um, about the arts programs. What you should know is that all of our programs are BA programs versus BFA programs. Um, and it means the students have a great opportunity, I think, to dive into their arts passions, but also leave with a well-rounded education. So let's get started and uh, talk about theater. Our theater program in the past five years has been ranked in the top 10 multiple times as one of the best theater programs in the country. Um, students rehearse and perform in our beautiful uh, performing arts complex called the Trexor Pavilion and Big Bear Center for the Arts, uh, along with a separate rehearsal house. Um, students in theater are able to select areas of study that include acting, directing, stage management, technical theater and design and performance studies. There's a tremendous amount of personal attention that students get in their in their classrooms. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of um, uh, personal attention that students get in their classrooms. It's a, a very kind of collaborative uh, space. Also, um, very much uh, feels like kind of conservatory experience in the theater department. They have a new acting lab for uh, freshman students in our performance and society class. And the theater department has recently revised the curriculum to ensure that classes and shows will operate in an anti-racist framework. We produce over 50 productions throughout the academic year that include six main stage productions. And over the summer, we have a professional musical theater program. So the entire cast and crew, whoever are in the shows, they actually get paid to be in productions. It's a professional experience. And so that's super, super exciting. Some, um, some of our most recent productions, How Does a Seed in Business, Sunday in the Park with George, um, the importance of being earnest, bring it on, and a reason in the sun. There's a study abroad program, um, sorry, a study abroad program in London and Arezzo, Italy for theater, um, and we offer stage combat classes. Our theater students are doing many different things. Um, uh, once they graduate, we've had several Muhlenberg alums perform on Broadway before the pandemic hit. Um, then we also have students who will perform in regional theaters, cruise lines, um, start their own companies, or become artistic directors or casting agents. 
for the dance program, that's a BA program found in, founded uh, in ballet, but there's also many other genres, including modern, jazz, hip hop, intensive, uh, we have intensive tap program, African dance and aerial training, the concentrations available, performance, choreography, dance education, and dance science. There are over five major um, dance performances, one that focuses on student choreography. There are four major dance studios on campus in addition to a tap box. Um, our dance students will uh, continue on um, in areas to get a master's degree in dance. They also um, may perform in professional companies, become physical therapists, or start their own dance studios. The Sorry, the Studio Art Program was founded by George Rickey um, in 1953, and um, the department is very interdisciplinary and interactive. Students can choose studio art or art history, um, and there is a specific um, senior thesis exhibition for our seniors to present the art they've been working on. We offer classes in drawing, painting, digital art, photography, and sculpture, and some fun places our graduates go on to, um, places like Portland Museum of Art and uh, uh, working for Pixar. The music department has concentrations in music performance, music history, music uh, composition. Um, there's really a great opportunity for students to craft their own educational journey as a musician on our campus. Of over 240 students um, are performing in different music ensembles on our campus, including um, the college choir, gospel choir, chamber choir, wind ensemble, and several jazz ensembles. Um, recently, we've had a faculty member, uh, Alexa Porter, win a Grammy in 2019, and then that same year, three other of our music faculty were nominated for uh, Grammys. Um, our music students um, are able to move on to careers in music therapy, music education, music production, or um, be performers all in their own right. The Film Studies program is one of the largest liberal arts and media programs in the United States. Um, film can be a major or a minor. We also have a new documentary and story making minor on campus. The curriculum uh, is kind of a combination between theory classes and then film history and film analysis, along with some really great immediate hands-on uh, opportunities in video production. We have state-of-the-art equipment available for students. There's a TV studio and radio station on campus as well. Um, and our students really uh, uh, from film go on to work for places like NBC Universal, CNN, or maybe they become screenwriters or work on their, in, uh, work on their own independent projects. So the things to keep in mind about um, the performing arts and visual arts at Muhlenberg is students have a great opportunity to study their passion, again, very much kind of a conservatory type of experience, but then also study some of these other areas, business, media, communications, creative writing, Africana studies, in the health sciences. Um, I studied a Muhlenberg alum myself, and I studied theater and business, and that's not too common on college campuses, but we welcome that students really take the opportunity to explore all those different areas. We do have um, talent scholarship and um, audition opportunities for prospective students. So if you audition or submit a portfolio, you can get up to $4,000 a year in talent scholarship. We encourage you to get to know our students and um, hear kind of on the, on the ground floor about some of the exciting things that they're doing. And we just wanted you to know that um, even given COVID, our students are really doing some exciting things and are, are continuing to be creative in the virtual space. And so they're not always able to be together and create the art in one space, but they're still being, I think, very innovative um, and um, uh, entrepreneurial um, in the ways that they are creating art on the campus. Uh, I encourage you all to please uh, contact me. I'm the arts liaison in the office. And like I said, a Muhlenberg alum myself, uh, here's some contact information, but I hope uh, this uh, increase your knowledge about Muhlenberg College and I welcome you to engage with us further. Thank you so much panelists for giving us more information about your colleges and the performing and visual arts programs that you have. I do have a few questions that I'll post to our panelists to give you guys a little more insight into the things that they offer and the things that they enjoy. So our first question is what is your favorite event or tradition on campus and we'll start with the New York Institute of Tech. Um, so it's hard to choose just one, but we do have a lot of events that we host on campus. Um, I think one of our favorite, well, at least one of my favorite one is Mayfest, which happens right a week right before finals week. Usually it's around May 4th or 5th, depending on how it falls on the week. And it's an event where 
no one's teaching that day. Campus is completely like it's a hangout type of a day on campus. We do tons of events. So we have a lot of food open for students. We do a carnival setup. So we have like a Ferris wheel. We make like a little area where students could ice skate on campus, even when it's like 90 degrees out. So that's a good way for students just to de-stress, enjoy the um, their whole semester and just ending wrapping it up until the next year. Wagner College. I think my favorite event is Songfest. So it is a lip sync and dance competition between all our organizations. And we also, so they create their own sets and their own dances and they pick their own songs based on the theme for that year. And we also crown a king and queen of Songfest. So that is a really exciting time. It happens in the spring every year. Wesleyan University. Yeah, I think for me, it probably we have an annual um, West African dance showcase, and then there's one for the um, the Indian dance um, sub department in our dance department. So I think those are my two favorites. Um, given granted, fun fact about me, I started at Wesleyan, and a few months later, we went into a lockdown, so I, I didn't get to take in a lot. But I think if you had a student here, they would say West Fest. So every April, um, uh, my read of, of events for our admitted students, and I'll encourage you to check out West Fest. Muhlenberg College? Um, I uh, agree that it's definitely a challenge to uh, pick one, but one of my favorites is our candle, candlelight carol service um, in uh, the end of the fall semester uh, because uh, it is just, uh, it takes place in our chapel and it's um, a program put on by the choral department um, and the uh, acoustics are absolutely beautiful, but they, for two hours, um, they, they put on a choral program um, that kind of has a, a holiday theme. Um, and so it's really, really fantastic and super helpful as I'm coming off the road from travel just to listen to some beautiful music. I just sit there and close my eyes. Um, essentially, if you ask most of our students on campus, maybe one of their favorite traditions is uh, midnight breakfast, um, where we serve breakfast uh, in the late night hours um, in our dining hall. Um, and you'll see faculty members and coaches and the mission staff members and maybe the president show up in their pajamas and everything. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we have a lot of traditions around food at Muhlenberg. All right, another question I have is what advice would you give to students going through the college search process? Then we'll start again with New York Institute of Tech. Um, I call this shopping, to be honest, especially at this point in game. You, it's like window shopping. You want to look at all the schools that are out there, look at what's the best opportunity, what school has your major. Um, just like my colleague said, like New York Tech is a small in school, like our student body is 4,000. So if you're looking for a huge, large school with a lot of like, like 20,000 students, New York Tech is not for you. Like we're a super small hands-on institution. So definitely look around. I think this is the best time to shop around. And then you wanna start looking for your discounts or as I call it during the time when you're applying to school because you wanna look at what your financial aid looks like, what your scholarships look like. So yeah, just enjoy the process. Wagner College? I would agree with that. I also would think that you should talk to current students at the school. Um, we have an event every spring called Talk to a Seahawks and Seahawk is our mascot. Um, and it's really just talking to current students, getting their take on what they like about the school, their experiences, and seeing if it's the best fit for you. I think that's important to, to speak with current students. Wesleyan University? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to second everything that um, everyone else has said. And I think adding to that, um, very importantly, never write a school off just because you're looking at the price tag, because often, you know, what you're going to see is the cost is often not what you're going to end up paying in full. So if you're interested in it, um, give it a go, throw your hat in the ring and make sure you submit your financial aid documents on time um, if you're applying for aid and then see how things play out. Because at the end of the day, even if you end up not enrolling at that place, you'll always want to know that at least you gave yourself a fair shot. Muhlenberg College. Um, my advice to students, I know it's really uh, challenging to uh, do the college search during, you know, a global <laughs> pandemic and be able to see and, and feel college campuses, but I encourage students to uh, let us help you. Um, our, our jobs are not only to read applications and decide who gets in, um, our, our jobs are also to help and guide you through the process. So we encourage you to reach out to us, ask us questions, um, and we're happy to be the, the liaison and, and connect you. Um, and, and um, essentially be an advocate for you. That's really what we see ourselves doing um, in, in the admissions offices. So feel free to engage with us. 
um, and let us help you along the way. We, we enjoy that. That's the reason why we come to, to the uh, to work every day. And my final question is, what is a fun or interesting fact about your college? And we'll start with New York. Um, one fun, I guess the fun fact is that regardless of your major, you could take it on either or campus. So you could start off at New York City, you could take it to Long Island. If you don't like Long Island, you could go back to New York City. So it's a very easy and seamless process to go back and forth between campuses and to get the best of both worlds. Wagner College. So I think a fun fact, since this has just happened, is one of our recent graduates just won a Super Bowl ring. Um, which is really cool. He graduated last year, is on the Bucks this year. Um, so it was really cool for all our students to see somebody in the classroom with them that now just won a Super Bowl ring. Wesleyan University. I think something a little neat and weird about us, <laughs> quirky if you will, um, is that you'll probably, you know, if you're on the website, you're speaking to our current students, you might hear them say Cape Wesleyan weird, um, <laughs> which I know could be a little off putting at first, but what it simply means is that our students are incredibly quirky. So if you're looking for a place with quirky students, um, that's why you see like Be Brave on the website. It's the sort of place where students come here and they're unapologetically themselves. And so, you get quite a mixture, quite an ensemble of personalities. <laughs> In Muhlenberg College. Um, fun, uh, the fun fact, um, and I think it's a, a welcome fact given uh, how old Muhlenberg is, it's founded in 1848, um, is that our, our current president is the first female president of Muhlenberg. And so long time coming, but I think that's our, our fun fact for today. Awesome. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today, both panelists and participants. When we close this window, there will be a link to a very short four question survey, and we appreciate any feedback you can provide us. And in about a week, you'll be able to find the sessions recording as well as all the other recording sessions on the same website where you registered. Thank you, everyone, and I hope you guys have a great evening.